and welcome back to the crochetcraft.com. Got a fun little pattern. <laughs> anyway, I got a preview of this like two months ago and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. So um, this here is Pantoofles, a Shays Lounge. Pantoofles is the kitty cat and the designer is French and this is her kitty cat and uh, pantoufles means slippers in English and uh, when she showed me this I was really awesome so Catherine actually designed the original cat coach which actually took a lot of foam so the goal was is to take the lessons of what people commented to reduce down on the foam and also come up with a new chaise lounge oh my god this is one pampered kitty I'll tell you so I don't think this needs a tutorial for step by step for everything however this is probably one of the most detailed patterns I've ever seen. This pattern is using double link crochet. I'll put a link in the more information of this video. It'll say double link crochet. And basically, Catherine did not want any spaces in between the stitch work. And so you'll see that it's nice and tight. Um, this is 12 pages of gloriousness from everywhere to how to assemble, how to cut the foam. And a lot of great things. There's even a crochet diagram in here. Um, if you need to close up of the bed and what the pillow is, just makes my heart just go pitter patter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down to my desk. Uh -huh. And what I'll do is I'll flip page by page and just point out a few things for you. I really don't think you need a tutorial on this because the fact is, is that most of it is just panel work and just being able to put it together. And you know what, maybe you have to use a little bit of ingenuity and learn a little bit more. So let's get started and take you back down to my desk. Yeah, you've been real bad. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the pattern here. Pantoofles, the designer is actually calling this Meowy Antoinette. And uh, it's really kind of fun. You have all the abbreviations here. And then all of the information as far as the foam and everything is available right here in this section here. And this is one of those ones that um, she has all the detail ready for you. So there are 12 pages of goodness on this one here. You were going to notice that things are in panels. And so she has the basic instructions of uh, with the main color, MC is main color, chain 66, and it's just half double crochet each and go back and forth until 24 inches. And you're going to notice is that these panels are worked just like that. And so what's gonna happen is that as you go along, you're going to find in the information is that once you have your foam, you're going to be able to cut things out of the foam itself. So to maximize the amount of um, um, foam that you will use. So she has it all laid out here, here for you. And the information is available for the dimensions which, if you'd like to do that. Moving on along, that it just continues to add on and you just keep doing more and more. Now, if this is like a frustrating for you in the sense of like, this is a lot of instruction, take instruction line by instruction line so if you look at it as a whole it's like overwhelming but just do the line do the line and just follow the instructions as you go and over here she has a diagram on how to do this twisting fringe which is a kind of a neat idea and of course you don't want the fringe to be at the point where um, it's going to come loose so she has a tying and knots at the end of the fringe as well so carry on we have this she has uh, information on the reverse single crochet. This is also called um, the crab stitch. And so this is kind of how to make the pillow, the caps for the ends of the pillows, um, the cap liners, everything that you need to know is right here. There's also a stitching diagram here for the end of the pillows itself to get the look. These pillows on their own is actually a really cute idea. They're pretty small. This whole thing is actually not as big as the other original cat coach itself. She also has a step-by-step -step diagrams, or uh, sorry, um, um, pictures here of doing the first of linked uh, uh, trouble, sorry, linked trouble. And what we have here is that this here is going to be how to do all of this. This is also a really neat idea. There's also linked double crochet. This is something that we already have available in our stitch library for how to do this kind of concept in case you're interested in that. So that's something that I think was helpful and I will link that in the video description as well. She also has the stitching diagrams in order to complete that. So once you just go back and forth in doing your rows, you will come back across and then you will just kind of fill in the spots in order to make it happen so that you end up having 
the right angles. Carrying along, you will notice that this is all the base panels that you will have. So that this is what all the panels will look like. And then including the bottom panel here of just looking at it, seeing how it's gonna rest. So this is the seat, this is coming up on the edge and etc. So this is the back panel behind the sofa or behind the chaise lounge. And so everything is kind of just working together just to kind of wrap around the form that you're, you are making. Once you have all the pieces cut, you're going to put the forms together like this, okay? And that's something that's kind of uh, fun and fabulous. You can use a bit of glue to be able to hold things together. And uh, so there's the basic shape and then everything you're making is gonna rest around this whole shape. So this is a flat seaming diagram to show you how things are coming together in order to make things work. And so you'll have this here on page number 11. And then finally, page number 12, um, it has a, all the information of the finished seaming, so where all the seams are in order to make things happen. And then therefore, you can just follow that step by step. So I do think that this one is a really big thing if you were ever to do a crochet tutorial on all the little pieces. But if you just take it step by step and you just follow the instructions and uh, just understand how things are going together, use the photographs to help you at all. Of course, if you don't like something on something, if you don't want the fringe, you don't have to do that. But again, everything is up to you on your creative space in your brain on what will make you the happiest. But this is a pretty cute idea and uh, definitely it's going to be a hot thing probably for a very meowy Christmas or something. <laughs> we hope you have a good one. And I'm your host, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd.